So we have an update on the wild series of events that ended with a crash that shut down the northbound lanes of I-5 right there with that truck hit that car and then jackknifed there on the span. Mm -hmm. Federal agents tell Coin 6 it's connection are connected to a stolen trailer with guns inside. It was a crazy scene. Joelle Jones has been on top of the story since the beginning. She is live with what we're learning about the suspect today. Joelle. Yes, yesterday we were able to confirm that that trailer seen in the I-5 crash was connected to the one stolen out of the Jansen Peak Beach Hotel parking lot. And now today we learn that 19-year-old Angelina Pinterschlinder is who authorities think is behind all this. I spoke with investigators to learn more about where they think the guns are. And we're going to take another look at that I-5 camera, that dash cam video, rather, uh, that we saw yesterday. Investigators say the trailer in this video is one stolen from the Oxford Suites Hotel parking lot in Jansen Beach Monday morning. The owner tells us that happened as the firearms dealer was preparing to pack up from attending a gun show over the weekend. The trailer that was involved in the original uh, theft of firearms has been recovered. Um, ATF has applied for a federal search warrant, and once that search warrant is issued, we will actually be doing uh, a search of that vehicle, and hopefully we'll find the firearms that were taken. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives told us today they are still waiting on that search warrant to look inside the trailer. Until then, we won't know if the guns or ammo are inside. Investigators say the truck attached to the trailer at the time of the crash, while also stolen was not the one taken from the Oxford suite. So they are still looking for that stolen white Ford F-250. Coming up, we'll learn more about Angelina Pinter Schlinder, the 19-year-old who authorities say fled on foot after crashing into several vehicles on the I-5 bridge yesterday. Uh, we'll have more on that. She appeared in court today, coming up at 5. Live in downtown Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News. A lot of people have been asking what happened to the people whose cars were mm -hmm. hit. Were they hurt? We still don't have an answer to mm -hmm. that. All right, Joelle, thank you.